hey guys welcome back to my channel this is the third time i'm trying to record i did an entire reading and there was no volume and then i did another reading and there was technical difficulties so hopefully this time third time is a charm i got a lot of really what i thought were substantial messages but we'll start over okay so let's see where the divine masculine is at frequent commenters will get put in the raffle for my 15,000 subscriber giveaway thank you guys for your love for your support. I'm so grateful for all of you guys and the support and love that you send my way. These are in Sanskrit, so I'm going to have to read from the book. This is Muladhara, okay? I did study yoga in India, so um, I should know a lot of how to pronounce these, but this is the star. This is healing, okay? Beautiful. This is the overall energy. I was getting that energy a lot in my reading before, so let's see where it says. Now, what I'm getting from this is that things may be happening under the surface that you don't realize healing between you and your masculine. Okay, the manifestation mantra is the only disconnection that's real is in my mind and that is as impermanent as the wind. So it's kind of like you guys might feel because you're physically not in the vicinity of your masculine that you guys aren't together. But this is saying that that is just an illusion. We're all actually one. We're all connected to everything. The suggestion is go into nature and walk barefoot. Feel the earth beneath your feet. Imagine yourself being gently electrified by the currents of the earth. But, you know, this goes both ways. Um, so this is also, this says foundation beginning chances unfolding development if your masculine wants to convince themselves that you guys are not connected that's also an illusion because he can't disconnect from you because it's already been connected it's all been done it's already been done we have lunar which is the moon so there's a lot beneath the surface that's not it's it requires faith, and that's what I was saying in my reading before. Um, it requires you to believe in the unseen right now and not to base things off of the 3D. You guys know I always say that, okay? The moon is very hidden. It only comes out at night. It only shines in the dark, all right? And this might be a time for you guys as well to really use whatever darkness you're going through in your journey to understand more on the subconscious level. And I was getting a lot of dream energy, so you guys could be connecting in dreams. This is the feminine energy. The mantra here is, I fear no shadow and I bring all aspects of self into consciousness. Um, so pay attention to the your inner tides and how they are affected by the night and the moon. So what I feel with this, the word I'm getting to is like a lot of secrets with the masculine, a lot of ways that they feel that, you know, they're not leading on to. This was the card that I got before. Now it's in the bottom of the deck. This is the void. This is the tower. And I feel, you know, the masculines are trying to fill a void right now. Okay. Things may be falling apart, but they may be in a way trying to put it back together in a way that just they could just recover from whatever happened with you, all right? So um, let's get into the tarot and see what other messages we got going on here. What are the messages? This is this new angel tarot that I just got. Oh, these cards just want to fly everywhere. Uncertainty, two of swords. So your masculine kind of may be going through the motions, but not really sure what they're actually doing. It might look like they're doing something, but I feel like they're walking blindly in a way. It's like everything's kind of hidden within them. Like they don't even really know the answers here. We've got eight of pentacles. I did get that in the last reading. So this is um, third eye chakra. This is heart. And I feel like they want to follow their heart. They want to dedicate their energy to something, but they're not even sure of what they're doing. But I feel they're very consumed in trying to convince themselves that whatever they're doing in the 3D world is worth their time and energy because mentally, emotionally, they can't figure it out. Let's see what they feel towards the feminine here. This is going to be mentally and emotionally towards the feminine. Where are they at? This is mentally. Okay, we've got King of Wands, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. I do feel like they still want to be like the king for this feminine. They want to come through. They want to be dominant. They want to show their passion here. They do want to lead the way, um, emotionally juggling. But this is, look, we had 
two of swords and two of pentacles. So they're back and forth, back and forth. What do I do? This is where my passion lies. This is where I've invested my energy. They're very back and forth juggling. Their heart is like, I don't know what to do here. We've got ace of pentacles, abundance. Okay, so they could be investing their energy. This is interesting because we have two of pentacles and then an ace of pentacles. They may have made a decision that just seems practical for their life right now. Um, and then we have commitment, king of cups, which is interesting because we had king of wands. Um, they may even be putting their commitment and their emotions into something because it feels like it's going to give them that sac that sense of security, okay? So if you guys are seeing, I mean, because the tower came up, the uncertainty came up, and I feel like they're just looking for something to cling to, all right? This is from Aqua Moonlight's Secret of a Lover's Journey. Let's get clarity here. A heart given, all emotions invested, diving into you with the King of Cups. You know, it's weird because I feel like they actually really had all their emotions invested in the feminine, but on the physical, they've invested their energy into something else. So let's see, how does this make them feel with the heart given? I do feel like they want to give their heart to the feminine. Cozy hearts. If a warm embrace, comforting familiarity. Okay. But I feel like they also, you know, the twin flame journey is very tumultuous and a part of them just wants a place I feel where they're not constantly torn up inside too. A sweet arrival, romantic gestures, fairy tales coming true and roll of the dice, weighing pros and cons, leaving it to fate. That's that juggling two of pentacles energy. I feel like they don't really know where they want to arrive. They don't really know what the answer is, okay? They're kind of conflicted. Let's get from my Moody Moon Messages Masculine to see what their moods are here. Did I do the singing bowl? I can't even remember. Okay, vulnerable, raw, open, genuine. There's a lot of feelings here, though. You guys may even end up hearing from your masculine emotions here, but I feel like their heart chakra is very open right now, and they do want to put their feelings out there, okay? But they're also doing these things to protect their vulnerability, so they're being spiteful, vengeful, immature, because they don't want to be vulnerable. They don't want you to see how much they care. I feel like they may be really hurt from something, too, um, so they're trying to hide their vulnerability here. Cuddling intimacy and closeness, which is interesting because we had um, this cozy heart. So I feel like they're craving physical intimacy with the feminine. Um, they're craving that sensuality, that like sense of home from the feminine. Okay. We have leaving, goodbye, closure, and departure. Um, but I feel they also have like abandonment wounds here too. Um, but I feel they could, it's interesting, we have leaving and a sweet arrival. This could be like them closing a chapter in their life and starting a new chapter. Um, this could also be, I'm, I'm getting abandonment wounds too, but literally traveling somewhere, moving somewhere, okay? So let's pull from this Denied Shadows Oracle. Pride, self-centeredness, ego-driven. Okay, so that we had spiteful. I do feel like they do things out of spite, out of their pride. Their pride could have been hurt. They could have felt really vulnerable. And now they're like, yep, inner child. Be kind to yourself. Let your creativity flow. So, um, yeah, I definitely feel that they're protecting some wounded inner child in them with some actions right now. We've got integrity and rumination replaying the past, act in love, act with conscious. So I do feel that um, it's very hard for the masculine to act in integrity. I feel like they've done a lot of things in the past, like avoiding integrity. They didn't want to man up, um, but they think about it a lot, how they've messed up with that, how they didn't act with integrity, okay? Can't see eye to eye. All right, so 
but we have that pride. I feel like their pride and their ego get into um, get into play a lot here. We have precious moments. I feel like they think back a lot. We have rumination and precious moments on the like good times you guys had, but they feel like you guys maybe weren't like compatible. But at the same time, there's like an unbreakable bond. Like nothing changes that. Nothing changes this connection romantic feelings so we've already gotten that i'm trying to think we had king of cups okay definitely romantic feelings here um they definitely haven't stopped thinking about you feminine they haven't forgotten about you they whatever it looks like in the 3d like i said in the beginning they're not really moving on they're moving on physically but not emotionally that's what i get and they're trying to hope that by moving physically it will change their emotions for a pentacle scarcity mindset but they're still holding on to the past they're still holding on for dear life they're still in fear they still don't actually feel like what they're pursuing is what they really want page of cups message of love pisces energy um i feel like they want to open their heart but they're holding on to a lot of negative things that happen between you guys two of swords again stalemate and indecision death transition they are preventing their own transformation by this stalemate and it's like them not making being able to make a decision because they're fearful of like failure or like what it, what if it doesn't work out let me get one clarity card for the two of swords here this fell to the floor nine of wands trials and tribulations yeah i feel like they're thinking in a scarcity mindset of all the worst things that could happen here okay um they're very um insecure about themselves and doing anything out of the box here taking any chances they don't feel like they're they're gonna succeed okay so um definitely a scarcity mindset here and that's what's preventing any sort of real change what do they want to communicate to you from their higher self? This is the hidden truth oracle. I remember every detail of that day. We have rumination. So they're definitely thinking a lot about the past. It could have been a fight that you guys had that they can't seem to get off of their mind here. And that makes them fearful that it would just never work out. <laughs> Look at this, guys. I want you. Okay? That's... I mean, can we get any more clear here? Definitely romantic feelings with the King of Wands and the King of Cups, but they're not following their heart. I hope that you can forgive me one day. I wish I had treated you better. Okay, so they definitely feel regret and remorse for what they put the feminine through here. This is from Extra Sensory Empress. These could be like um, professions of your masculine or like, I'll just interpret them as they come, but there are a lot of like vocational stuff investor but you know a lot is to do with money and where they're investing their time and it's like i feel like they're investing in things that they feel will be successful in the 3d alternative medicine um it's like they're choosing a different route because they just don't believe that what they want can actually work out it's like they're taking an alternate route um, they could also be like a healer and into like holistic medicine here. Um, but there could be like a torn between like the alternative stuff and like the traditional stuff. This is very like 3D and this is very like kind of more like spiritual 5D law enforcement. And I feel this is sort of like the disciplinarian within them that forces them to... Um, to just go a very straight and narrow path because they feel like that's what they're supposed to do. And then we have singing, which is so cute. Music could be something. You could see something with music or hear something and your masculine's trying to communicate to you birds, something with birds chirping. Maybe you even heard that today, yoga. Um, I do feel they're trying to get more spiritual, but I also feel like they're not, it's not really as genuine as it is for the feminine. It's not... Like, they're totally invested in it. And that's the other thing. Like, whatever they're doing, I don't even feel like they're totally invested in it. But they're trying to convince themselves here. Okay? Let's get some more cards here. This 
cycles. Okay, we had the moon to begin with. So maybe something in the new moon like triggered. You guys could have had dreams and things that happened that, you know, connecting with them. We have healing. Okay, so that's like another kind of yoga thing. I feel like they need to do this to align themselves to get centered and balanced, but I feel they avoid this. This is what I was saying in the other reading. It came up again. I feel like they may be making like major moves to try to um, avoid like really facing themselves and really healing, but it's all going to catch up with them. You know, they can't reinvent themselves. They can't forget about what happened with the feminine. They can't pretend that that's not a part of their life here. Okay. The search. We search, we hope, and sometimes we do find that perfect love that lasts a lifetime. Other times our search leads us to grief, heartache, disappointment. There are no guarantees in life that we're going to leave this world having known the type of love you read about in romance novels. But it, they're still searching for something, though. They're still not settled with that Two of Swords energy. They're still hoping and praying. And I feel like they really need like a spiritual cleanse here. We have cleanse, okay? They may be making moves in their life that they feel will really cleanse them. Mistakes in love, it's part of growing, loving. But I don't feel they've really done the work. And that's what I was saying in my other reading. If your masculine has just sort of moved on and you've maybe had fights with them, trials and tribulations, it seems like they never faced that part of themselves. They've shown you a certain side and then they just seem to be happy and not addressing anything. There's, there's no way someone is completely healed because of a situation. They have to actually do the internal work. They have to search within. They have to cleanse within. They have to face their mistakes. And if they're running, those mistakes are eventually going to catch up with them. You can't just... Um, you can't just avoid that, okay? So let's get a couple last messages and then we're gonna pull some charms here. A couple last messages from the masculine here. What is the masculine? And I, I feel the masculine's definitely keeping an eye on the feminine. I feel guilty when I talk bad about you. Yep, they have a lot of guilt and regret and remorse here. Deep down, I know I ruined this. And, you know, it's like they may be trying really hard to make other things in their life work because they have so much remorse about how they treated you and they want to fix that. I think of you when I listen to that musician. Yep, we had singing, okay? So they may be trying to drown you out with music or we have a turtle, we have B, we have L, we have W, we have Y, we have angel wings, okay? And guitar, like I said, with music um turtle slow moving we have the swans which a lot of people see as like twin flame love okay that connection that loyalty we have a all right and let's get a couple more letters we have a again i got a twice before s i p paul there it is again h and q all right so that's your reading, guys. I hope it resonated. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.